Imagine escaping from high security jails not once, not twice, but four times. Welcome to the audacious life of Yoshi Shiratori, the man who did the impossible. This isn't your usual prison break story. It's a remarkable journey of resilience and cunning. A relentless pursuit for freedom. A Japanese national Shiratori became a figure of legend with his daring escapes. He was a master at vanishing from the most secure prisons, mystifying the authorities. His life story is about his breaks, the freedom he experienced, his recapture reasons, and his choice to surrender. A tale threading together his extraordinary life into a compelling and intriguing narrative. Join us as we delve into the life of this extraordinary escape artist. Before we delve deeper into Shiratori's incredible life, let's note that this video presents historical events and intriguing facts. Some aspects of his story may be embellished over time. Now, let's continue the journey, the life of Yoshi Shiratori, the man who defied Alcatraz. Born into a simple life in 1907, Shiratori's world changed dramatically when he was wrongly accused of murder. Originally an average man from the Hokkaido region of Japan, his life was upturned by false claims of robbery and murder. Consequently, he was imprisoned in the harsh Ayomori prison. Faced with a biased and corrupt justice system, Shiratori found himself stuck with no apparent way of proving his innocence. His situation seemed but Shiratori was far from defeated. His determination and desire for justice fortified a resilient spirit in him. Despite being incarcerated, his resolve remained untouched. Little did they know their prison bars could not confine his unyielding spirit. In the chilly epoch of 1936, amidst the frosty depth of Aomori prison in northern Japan, a captivating tale was taking shape. Yoshie Shiratori, a prisoner in this icy fortress, was planning an incredible escape. He used a simple metal wire from a bucket to pick his cell lock after watching the guard's routine for months. Each attempt demanded patience, determination and a keen eye for detail. His diligence paid off and the iron lock eventually succumbed to his relentless effort. Preparing for his imminent flight, he cleverly arranged his futon to deceive the guards into thinking he was still sleeping. One frosty night, he made his daring escape through a cracked skylight, embracing freedom for the first time. His audacious act left the prison staff dumbfounded and launched the nation into a whirlwind of rumors and covert stories. However, his freedom was short-lived. His face splashed across national newspapers, rendered anonymity impossible. He was swiftly captured and returned to prison, where his captors believed they had finally tamed him. Yet, Yoshie Shiratori was undeterred. The prison could not contain him, and his mind was already devising plans for his next audacious escape. Shiratori was entranced by the sweet taste of liberty, and he was far from finished. After being recaptured, Shiratori was sentenced to life imprisonment. His daring escapades and thefts had led him to a life of perpetual captivity. His path led him to the harsh environment of Akita prison in 1942, a significant episode in his saga of survival. Here, within its daunting stone boundaries, he was consigned to a unique cell, designed to hold the best escape artists. This cell was a desolate fortress, with towering ceilings and a single tiny skylight, his only connection to the outer world. A narrow space with walls of smooth copper so close it seemed to warp time and space, making escape a distant dream. Yet, Shiratori with his indomitable will 
scrutinized his cell. He spotted the gentle decay in the window bar's wood, a flaw, a hope. Sensing an opportunity, he started chiseling away at the decaying wood each night. Gradually, the vent loosened, revealing a path to the skylight. Employing his contortionist skills, he prepared to slip through the opening. He patiently waited for a stormy night to cover the sound of his footsteps on the roof. But his freedom was short-lived. After three months, he emerged at guard, named Kobayashi's home, pleading for help to expose the corruption in Japanese prisons. However, fate had a bitter turn planned. Kobayashi, while Shiratori was in the restroom, alerted the police, leading to his rearrest and return to the very prison he once escaped from. Shiratori's tale of defiance and resilience took a harrowing, bone-chilling turn in the winter of 1943. He was relocated to the dreaded Abashiri prison in frigid northern Hokkaido. Clad in meager summer attire, he endured the biting cold in an unwelcoming cell. The sadistic guards targeted him for torment, but Shiratori remained unbroken, demonstrating remarkable. He plotted an audacious escape, which was met with mockery by his captors. With an exceptional display of strength and determination, Shiratori shattered his ice-laden handcuffs, stunning his captors. He was then given specially designed cuffs, taking a specialist almost two hours to unlock. Despite this, Shiratori remained undeterred. With ingenious thinking, he used miso soup to slowly weaken the iron of the handcuffs until he could break them. As the 26th of August 1944 approached, it signaled the start of an escape that would forever be etched in prison lore. Utilizing his extraordinary flexibility, Shiratori dislocated his shoulders and slipped through the narrow food slot of his cell door. The wartime blackout gave him the perfect cover for his daring escape. Shiratori sought refuge in an abandoned mine, where he endured two long years in isolation. Hunger, however, forced him to a nearby village, where he discovered Japan surrender. However, he was captured yet again after fatally stabbing a farmer who attacked him after he was caught stealing a tomato from his farm. He claimed it was an act of self-defense. Shiratori's third escape and his subsequent recapture further solidified his legend as the man who defied the impossible. After his third successful evasion and the chilling murder of the farmer, Shiratori found himself facing the grim sentence of death at the Sapporo District Court. His reputation echoed through the justice system. The authorities responded with unusual measures. They isolated him in a unique Sapporo prison cell designed to extinguish all hopes of escape. It boasted towering heights, small windows and a steel reinforced floor, a symbol of elaborate security measures to prevent a daring. The wardens, lulled by the fortress-like prison, became lax and didn't handcuff Shiratori believing their fortress infallible. But Shiratori, known for overcoming impossible odds, spotted opportunity where others saw only barriers. He noticed a key flaw in their security. The prison floors, though fortified, weren't regularly inspected. Using this knowledge, Shiratori devised a plan. The simple porcelain bowls used for miso soup became his unexpected escape tools. With these, he started the monumental task of tunneling through this seemingly indestructible floor. The task was tough, demanding incredible patience, but Shiratori had weathered trials before. He persisted, chipping away at the floor bit by bit, day by day. On a freezing 1947 night, Shiratori's efforts were rewarded. He squeezed through the tunnel he'd laboriously dug, 
reinforcing his reputation as a man impossible to incarcerate. His ultimate escape, like his previous ones, was a testament to his indomitable spirit and stubborn determination. However, the extraordinary tale of Yoshie Shiratori, the man who defied the impossible, was far from what would fate have in store for him next. Would he finally attain lasting freedom or would his past return to plague him? As the sun rose over a serene park in 1948, Yoshi Shiratori found himself in a predicament. Unaware of his true identity, a local constable extended a hand offering a cigarette. In a post-war Japan, this act was a symbol of compassion. This unexpected gesture stirred Shiratori. The officer's goodwill contrasting with past hostilities led him to confess his reality. He admitted he was a runaway prisoner, willingly surrendering to face justice. His arrest resulted in yet another trial, which took an unexpected turn. The High Court of Sapporo, after scrutinizing his case, ruled the incident that caused a farmer's demise was not murder, but self-defense. They that during his escapes, Shiratori avoided violence. His strategies were clever, relying on wit over force. His death sentence was revoked with a 20-year term for his escapes. He served his term in Tokyo's Fuchu prison, a period marked by good conduct. Released in 1961, Shiratori returned to Ayomori, hoping to reconnect with his estranged daughter. There was bittersweet. Their relationship strained by years of separation and the shadow of his crimes. His wife had passed, her loss inflicting a deep wound. Over the next decade, Shiratori lived simply, working various jobs. The man who had defied odds found solace in the ordinary. His spirit remained unbroken, but his remarkable journey was destined for a quiet end. In 1979, at 71, Shiratori succumbed to a heart attack, concluding his extraordinary journey. Despite his passing, his legacy remains. Yoshi, the man who challenged the impossible, the man who broke free from the confines of the unbreakable, continues to be a beacon of resilience intelligence and the undying spirit of humanity. From fugitive to a symbol of resilience, Yoshi Shiratori's life is an unforgettable saga. His prison escapes showcased his genius, while his choice to surrender highlighted his strength. His journey of freedom and surrender is a testament to the human showing that even in adversity we can find redemption. This inspiring story of Shiratori moves us, doesn't it? So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Your feedback fuels our journey forward. Stay curious and stay tuned for the next remarkable saga.